Y'all, YouTube, what's going on with y'all, man? It's King Dooms, and it's kind of a sad video in a way. Um, so I haven't hit level 40. I think I'm close to it, like real close to it. Guys, you can check it right now. So yeah, I'm like literally like maybe two, three games away with the boost. For badge elevator, the instant plus two level boost. Permanently boost a badge of your choice by two plus levels instantly. Set it up in the badge elevators tab of the badges menu. So it's something I don't have access to, but I have seen other people with access to it. And the first thing that I noticed is what it says about max potential. So we're going to take this to Twitter. I don't know what his name is. So we're going to call him you always. So I'm going to redact it out of conversation about this uh, from my post yesterday. And we were talking about how max plus one half limit list and how crack it is. We're going to try to level 30. And then Redacted brought it up. When I get those elevators, I'm most, like, I'm most definitely putting that on Handles for Days Legend. Stop so between cap break and then Redacted said, man, the Elevate Bash thing is not worth it. Just found out. And this is what caught my attention when he showed this screenshot. It was him and Juba that showed, that showed me this. So, looking at this, you can't, your max potential is the cutoff for the badge elevator. So it's a cap thing. You must have the max potential cap or what it is that you want to elevate. So it was kind of a bummer when we found out because I thought it was to any badge that would make the badge elevator thing like more accessible, more impressive. But looking at it this is really something for like your second or third build like builds later on down the line because that first build by the time we got to this we already maxed it out and we was done like when when i get this i don't i ain't gonna have no use for it but that's probably that's probably the bad part the good part is your future builds if you decide to make a future build because i know some people like to just make one build they don't want to spend their money on it and i completely understand that so if you do make another build, future builds, this is what it's good for. This is like the first thing that you can do. You can max something out instantly that you get to gold or whatever in that manner, especially with cap breakers. That's the benefit with it is with using cap breakers. So for me, I know, say I make a guard in season four and I get level 40. That will be four as long as i have the cap breakers or i have the max potential of legend for like at least four of my shooting badges and i make a new guard in season four that is what this would be good for so in a way it's a w but at the same time it's an l only because like you can do nothing with it but it is based off the max potential that was stated in the course i report all that and it's, just, it's also that it's permanent that you can't change it. So that's why it's best to not use it right now. If you see something like Flow Game, like I would hope Redacted didn't use this on Flow Game and Breakstart and he's a guard. That's not worth it at all. And it only goes up to silver. Still not good enough in my opinion. You can't even get a gold because the elevator results says silver. So just putting this out there, that's what this video is for. Do not use your badge elevators in season one unless you make a new build. You got something gold that you get gold off rip and you can cat break it or you can max it out to legend. That's that's what it's good for or Hall of Fame, whatever it is you decide to do with it. That's what badge uh, elevate badges is good for elevators. Is for that max potential to legend or Hall of Fame if you have that max potential for it. And it's max to that current. It's, it's to that current max, pretty much. Do not use it now. <laughs> don't because we're probably at. A lot of us are probably at the point of where we don't have to use it at all. I don't use it because you can't. It's permanent. You can't change it like the max plus one. Now looking at this, this shows more value to the max plus one and what you do with that because you can't change it around and uh, experiment with your build with different badges, different levels, all that. But yeah, don't use. Do not use this. I just keep pointing at it like, dang. I know Redacted got way more badges than this on his build. He only can use it on Breakstar and Flow Game, and it's not worth it. So, this caught me off guard. Hopefully, a lot of people see this video just for like the informational purposes on badge elevators because a lot of people were asking about it and finally figured out how it worked. Only use it. It's only good for later builds and 
increasing that bash with the cap brackets you get later on. So that's it for the video. Nothing too crazy. Kindles, I'm out, y'all. Peace. Subscribe if you're new. Drop a like as well.